Grambling State now with 122 left to play in this fourth quarter. Well, we we have seen a 40 second. 60-yard uh, drive out of Grandma, so let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, it took three plays for them to score earlier in this half. 42-yard punt puts the ball back at about the 17. Don't forget, Grambling State does not have any timeouts. Bethune-Cookman does not have any timeouts. Brandon Lanners, the freshman out of the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Pocket closes. He's going to roll to the outside, and it's complete. And again... He's able to find the freshman on the outside, Clyde Edwards, who has a first down. Brian Morgan, the senior place kicker for Grambling State. His career long is 52 yards. But don't forget, Grambling State has no timeouts left. So everything's got to happen quickly. Second and 10. Landers drops back to pass. Has plenty of time. Rolls to the near side. Being chased, throws on the run, incomplete. But Kari Geis was the intended receiver. But Ricky Williams is going to be called for pass interference. 20, or excuse me, 52 seconds left to play in this fourth quarter. First and 10 from the 45 of Bethune Cookman. Landers out of the shotgun. Plenty of time, wobbles it to the near side, incomplete. Edwards was the intended receiver. Oh, I should say it's Geis. Excuse me, so it's second and ten. There's Brian Morgan, as we said, 52 yards is as long. Next to him is Aaron Johnson, his holder. So those guys are just hanging together just in case there's a need for a long field goal to possibly win this ball game. And Brian Morgan, he's the SWAC's career record uh, holder for field goals made. So we're going to have to see if he can make one down here. It's going to be a long one. Second down and ten for the 45. Again, Landers to throw. He has time. Fires to the far side. It's tips and incomplete. Need to get at least to the 35 to get within the 52-yard range of Brian Morgan. It's third and 10 for the 45. Landers going to run the football to the 40. He's past the 35, and he's out of bounds at the 32. First and 10 from the 31 of Bethune-Cookman. Landers is three receivers to the top. Play clock is winding down. He gets it off. Drops back to pass again. Has time to the middle. It's to Geis, and it's complete. And he's across the 20 to the 19. Scrap that. They're going for the touchdown. <laughs> How relieved is that Grandma State marching band? <laughs> well, not totally relieved yet. Almost there. <laughs> Ryan Morgan. At the very least, they're sweating bullets. That's for sure. <laughs> There's the band as quiet as they could be right now. Brian Morgan, who is a senior from Groves, Texas, in 2001, second team all Division I AA selection. And an All American candidate yep. this year. Landers out of the shotgun on second and 10, looking for the end zone. Close to the end zone, and it's tipped off the hands of Landry Carter. I'd take another shot at end zone. Maybe, you know, a, a play over the middle wouldn't hurt because you can get the first down and still have the chance to spike the ball. 19 seconds left. There's plenty of time left on the clock to take one more shot. 19 seconds, no timeouts for Grambling State. Got to make sure you get a first down if you throw it over the middle, though. Landers again out of the shotgun. Looking to throw. Lost it toward the end zone. He has a man, and it's incomplete. Zarek Heyman was open, the junior from New Orleans. And the ball was overthrown. It may have actually gone right through his hands. He could have been the hero. He had the chance. Brandon Landers gave him a, a, a beautiful ball to go get. They're not wasting any time here, though. Aaron Randall is the long snapper. Aaron Johnson is the holder. This will be a 36-yard field goal attempt for Brian Morgan. Snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is up, and the kick is Thank good. You. And now the band gets to play. Now, this is an impressive comeback for Grambling sure State. I, I didn't think there was much hope for that Grambling State team. Uh, Coming out of halftime, they made some very good adjustments on defense. They stayed in their lane. They were able to disrupt that Bethune-Cookman triple threat option. 
Everything looked like it worked perfectly. Good snap, good hold, good kick.